So let's track some text. All right, so we're gonna start off in DaVinci. We're gonna pick our clips that we're gonna be using. In this case, it's just one car going down the road. I'm going to quickly, just because it's flat, I'm going to uh, add a bit of saturation into this and then also a little bit of contrast. If we want to, we can actually do a little bit of a color grade in here as well. Okay looking a lot better. The other thing that that will allow you to do is track a bit better as well. So, and that's mainly if you're just working with a log shot. So I would color grade before you uh, track. Okay, so let's go into Fusion. You just, the, the normal settings here are fine. Just make sure that you uh, check the Open Fusion Connect clip because then that'll automatically start Fusion. Once Fusion starts up, you have these two nodes. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these nodes I'm going to click on the video clip here, hit shift spacebar to bring up our search, and we're just going to type in track. So we got our tracker, then hit enter. Now we have our tracker here, and you can see a little tracker guy in both of these. All you're going to do is just click on the left side here that has the little circle, and you're going to go over what it is that you want to track. The other thing that you can do is if you hold control and use your mouse wheel, you can zoom in to see where you're at on this. And the idea is you wanna be on a spot that has a bit of contrast. So I'm just going to be doing this headlight here, but you could pick whatever it is that you want. Um, so I'm just going to make this a little smaller. So in here, this window, is where the where these two cross that's the point that it's going to try to to track and it'll look anywhere in this box for that point okay now that we have that all we're going to do is just track forward now that we track forward if we look at this track and look at the line for this track it tracked it pretty well so if i just grab my playhead here and go backwards we can see that there's a little bit of slipping but it's fine um, if you want it, it to not slip so much you could add in multiple tracking points and then it'll average those point all those points out and it'll also enable you to do 3d uh, with one point it's kind of difficult to do 3d because there's no nothing else to measure off of to, for the the depth in a shot that's a little bit different i'll make another video on that later in the future if that's something that's of interest but um, this one we're just going to be tracking and then adding text so next we're going to bring up our text node and we're going to use text plus and we actually don't need this merge here so i'm going to delete that merge i'm going to take the output of the text and put it on the foreground which is the green arrow and now in our text panel we can bring it just drag it over here so we can actually see this I'm going to type in uh, I'm just gonna put in car and uh, so now I have my car text I can change the font if I want it to awesome and then come over into shading I can change the color and make it pink and now if we look at this clip here, we don't actually see it anywhere. So what we'll do is we'll click on our tracker and we will come over to operations and match movement. And what will happen now is it'll follow the car, which is fine, but it's not where we, you know, wherever it is that we want it. Maybe we want it on top of the car. So we'll come back to our text node and we will we can then take these two points and move it around where we want so maybe we want it uh, above the car so let's just put it like right there and now if we play this it'll be above the car so here let's full screen that come back to one and there we go we have it above the car it's pretty easy to to track something uh, and then once we have our desired look, whatever that desired look is, you can just come down here, click render, and then just hit start render. Once it goes through here with rendering, you'll then see it appear in here. Um, and the other thing that I, to save time, you can click 
uh, to start render and then you can come back to DaVinci and work on other parts of your edit. And then once it's done rendering, it'll just show up in here with whatever it is that you uh, wanted to render. If at any point in time you want to change something, so like let's say I want to change the color, I can just simply change the color, hit render again, and now in here, it'll be rendered. Uh, or once it renders, it'll come through in my project. Or if I wanted to move it, I could simply you know come back into here. Let's zoom out a little bit on this and then you know I could move it maybe I want it way out here and larger click render come back over into here and now I have that that updated um, shot I know that people are using some other methods but I find this to be the easiest and once you can wrap your head around using fusion um, there's a lot more possibilities with, with Fusion. So I would recommend uh, doing it this way. Uh, there are some other ways, but I feel like you're gonna save your a lot of time just doing it this way. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. If you have any suggestions, let me know them down there as well. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.